Manoli Barris, and I'm back. Today, as usual, is a packed episode. Let's get started with Mr. Keller and the middle school update. Thank you and good morning, Hopkinton Middle School. On Monday and Tuesday of this week, grade 6 and grade 7 held their winter concerts. Congratulations to those students and teachers for all of their hard work to this point and the outstanding performances. The grade 8 concert is this coming Monday. Speaking of performances, congratulations to the Drama Club and Miss Gifford for this weekend's remarkable performances in Hamlet. It was a pleasure to work, albeit briefly, alongside the incredibly talented cast and crew. This week, I'm happy to introduce you to School Council. Most of you probably do not know this, but once a month, a group of students, parents, and teachers meet as part of something called School Council. Mia, Tommy, Colby, and Catherine are this year's representatives on School Council, and I'd like to turn things over to them. The goal of School Council is to help improve our school. At each meeting, we discuss the strengths and weaknesses of Hoppington Middle School. For instance, at last meeting, each of us brought a list of strengths, weaknesses to the meeting, and we put them on, up on a board. We then put each strength and weaknesses into categories like communication, after schools, clubs and sports, cafeteria, and more. At our next meeting, we are continuing to look at strengths and weaknesses and discussing each of them as a, as a group. We then create a school improvement plan. That will be a guide to helping us improve HMS. It is our responsibility as student members of the school council to represent you in these meetings, and we would like to hear from you. Beginning tomorrow, you will notice three containers in the cafeteria for you to share with us information and feedback that you will have for us you to share. We hope that you offer us your thoughts and ideas for improving Hopkinton Middle School. Throughout the year, Mia, Colby, Catherine, and Tommy will be sharing updates with you on our progress at school council. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keller, Tommy, Catherine, Colby, and Mia. Next up, let's spend a minute with Ms. Sloan. I teach uh, seventh grade English so that I can feel tall. I wanted to become a teacher because I was looking for a field that um, would have an impact on society but at the same time allow for creativity. Uh, my favorite part of teaching is probably getting to laugh every day because the kids make me laugh constantly. I have learned a lot from my students. I think the number one thing I've learned from my students is patience, um, understanding, looking at problems from various angles and not being a screenager. Do I have any pets? Um, I have pet students. I have a dog named Cal and I have a cat named Marge and I used to have a Homer but not anymore. My hobbies. I like to play guitar. I like to sing. I like to read. I like to go for walks in the woods and um, what else do I do? And the occasional Irish step dancing. If I could add one thing to my school, it would be Karaoke Friday. Have a teacher you'd like to hear from? Then drop us an email. But first, wasn't that funny how we missed question of the day last week? Yeah, not so much. Well, it's back. And today, we're asking if you had a year off from school, what would you do? Flip squids. Live in Italy for a year. I would go to all of Beyonce's concerts. Try to pursue my interests like a totally normal person. I would maybe try to write a book. Sleep. I would build a time machine. Nothing! I would go to the beach. Go on the cruise to the Bahamas. Cry every day. I mean, like, what would I do without Hopkinton Middle School? I would hang out at my friend's house. Um, I would play with my friends all day and go to their house and play games. Hanging at my friend's house, play video games. Watch memes. Watch YouTube and drink soda and popcorn. We'd get filthy rich. I would sleep for a year. I'd play soccer every day. I'd probably sleep. Travel the world. Okay, let's keep this show moving on with our own Mr. Rockwood and Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that the prefix uni is a Latin word, unis? It means one. We find it in words such as universe, for example. Now, can you think of any words that begin with the prefix uni? Thanks, Mr. Rockwood. And now, birthdays. We have no birthdays today, but on Saturday, happy birthday to Thomas Guerra, Patrick Klinger, and Kata Nicolazzo. On Sunday, happy birthday to Julia Lerner. 
And that brings us to Have You Seen This? Our winner for this week is Riley Finnegan. And nice job on sending a photo of the location. That was cool. See Miss McBride in the main office for your delicious prize. Now, here's today's image. You have until Wednesday to find it and send us an email. That's a wrap for this episode. On behalf of everyone here, we'll see you next time with more stuff. Get out there and study hard. Miss Grady is filling in for Mrs. Noble on behalf of Mrs. Norby. This is a special announcement coming to you from Mrs. Grady. Attention students and staff members, you're all invited to take part in an innovative reading challenge. There is an exciting new twist to this one. A combination of reading, scavenger hunts, and social media. Intrigued? Students, check your Google Communication Classroom this morning for all the details. And staff, your information will appear in this Friday's flyer. Let's all get involved in the fun and make this a winter to remember. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Julia Lerner. Julia Learn. Wait. 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 Mrs. Grady is. Can we do that again? Oh, oh, I thought you meant me. Yeah, Did you know? Oh, it sounds like a plan. <laughs>